WTFNN. Headline news update. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Tommy O'Brien, coming to you live from TFNN headquarters in St. Petersburg, Florida, 2 p.m. Eastern time on Monday, two hours left to go in the trading day, and we got markets accelerating to the top side. NASDAQ leading the way up 138 points, approaching 2% in the positive territory, 75.46. You got S&Ps up 32 points, more than a full percent, trading at 27.79, and the Dow, pretty remarkable, shaking off the start that it had with Boeing in pretty severe negative territory, you now have the Dow up 153 points, trading at 25,604. Quite a number. We're going to start it off with Boeing. Just for the context of the Dow before we jump over to the charts, Boeing had down, been down about 11% at one point. You've now traded from 365 and reclaimed 30 of those dollars. Now Boeing trading down about 6.5%. Still quite a number, but not nearly the pain that it had been in at the beginning of the day. Now, here we are. Start things off with the Dow. There's your 930 bar, 25,254. We're now almost 400 Dow points above that level, trading 25,630. S&P 500, quite a run from the opening bell as well. We open at 2755. We're currently trading at 2784. NASDAQ 100 opens at 7,072. Now trading 110 points above that level. We were already in positive territory coming into the open, but quite a run, 71.80 in the NASDAQ 100. Crude oil trading at 56.76, a little bit of volatility in both directions. You get the gold contract trading a bit lower from most of the session. We were up there on highs 12.99 at about 2 a.m. Eastern time. And from there, we spiked down to about 12.91 at 10.30, kind of just hanging around these levels. 12.91.43 in the price of April gold and Euro US dollar trading at 112.41. In terms of some of the movers and shakers beyond Boeing out there, you have Apple getting an upgrade, quite a number, putting some oomph into that NASDAQ 100, up 3.4% for Apple. You've got NVIDIA trading higher as well, 7.2%. Check out that run throughout the day. As NVIDIA completing their purchase, we'll jump back to their story because we have it. Where are they? There they are. NVIDIA buying Israel's Melanix for $6.8 billion, beating Intel in that trading war. And uh, Facebook as well getting a bit of an upgrade, but tailing off a bit, still up about 1.8%. Stay tuned. We've got a man Dave White coming up right now. The Power Trading Hour, Tom O'Brien, live from 3 till 5. Stay tuned, folks. Have a great Monday.